So welcome to the sixth episode in this reset, this August reset or rejuvenation series. And by now you have had a cold shower or put some cold compress on the back of your neck. You've favorited some photos. You've looked at the clouds. You've got some bubbles at the ready. You've um, tried a recipe and I would love to know if it was a good recipe, let me know and I can give it a go as well. Uh, And so today I want to get our green fingers out. And when you hear gardening, I'm not sure what your reaction is. Do you feel like it is intimidating? Do you feel like it's something that is for kind of like older people? Um, I think all of the myths, you know, are very much myths. You know, my son is incredibly engaged in gardening and it's something that completely passed me by growing up and therefore I have no kind of baseline knowledge um, and very much feel that I am doing only the most accessible things in the garden, but yet the amount of joy that it brings has been so immense. And so I wanted to get us started either uh, on our indoor plant journey or outdoor. Uh, You may, if you don't have any outdoor space, you may have a plant indoors. If so, your simple step for today is to go and say hello to the plant, give it a bit of love, perhaps wipe its leaves, um, make sure it's watered, make sure that it's getting the light that it needs. And, you know, perhaps you're not seeing it often enough. So, perhaps you want to move it um, somewhere else. So I have just relocated a plant, which yes, I see it every day. It's in the bathroom, but actually I want to have more of these things around my desk area. So I've just moved relocated one near my desk where I can see it more. And I think I will be better at watering it. Um, On the outside front, again, really low stakes, go out and maybe pick up um, some litter. We've got a litter picker, which makes that even more fun. Um, But, you know, just go and do some tidying if you don't feel like you're very green fingered or get a broom and sweep the patio. Again, can be a really satisfying thing to do. If you're ready to do something a little bit more, you could tend to some existing plants in the garden, make sure that they are getting what they need, whether that's water, light, um, and just go and appreciate them. Now, if you're into what I believe is the term propagation, then you might want to try something like spreading out. um, Well, I'm trying to do my mint right now. So moving that around the garden and wherever we move it, the original root still sets stay. And I just think it's a really useful plant. I know some people think it's a bit of a weed, but I just think it's so useful. You can put it in food, you can put it in a cocktail. Um, So really, I'm trying to get you to do just one thing, either in your external garden or with your internal plants today, showing them some love, slowing down, giving them a bit of focus, time and energy and appreciating this other life form that we may have inside our homes or um, on our doorsteps. And the benefits when it comes to gardening have been proven and are multitudinous now. You have stress relief. Uh, I was talking to a client recently who was struggling with overwork and switching off. And she was saying, look, it doesn't help me when people say, look, just be really good about not looking at your laptop or your digitals. Like that's not helpful when you have a compulsion to work. What can be helpful though is having meaningful alternate activities that are really at your fingertips that don't require you to have to be at a certain location or don't require certain time constraints or other things. It's why I think often something like a food or drink can be a really easy source of comfort because it provides us that immediate state change. But stuff like gardening, I would say, fits that bill of being something that is we can have pretty immediate access to, especially at this time of year when the days are longer. So for those reasons, I think cultivating any form of gardening relationship, which is what I've been doing over the last couple of years, can be incredibly beneficial. So I'm going to leave it there and I hope that this encourages you to pay attention to a plant or take some concerted action in the garden and feel empowered um, and that you have a role to play in your garden. Um, For those of you who um, this is just, you know, as basic as it gets, send me your gardening tips, send me what you're up to. I'm really curious and interested to have further gardening chat. All right. I look forward to connecting with you in the next one of these episodes. Thank you.